We continue our tutorials about Microsoft Office Word with a computer lesson about creating a simple flyer. Now unfortunately McGanga the cat has gone missing so we want to create a flyer to put around the neighborhood. Now what we need on the flyer is an eye-catching title, some information about our cat, when it went missing, contact details and a photograph. The other consideration is that it needs to fit on one page. Now to save time I've already typed up the text that we're going to need and by default that text is in Calibri with a font size of 11. Now I'm going to change the font and what we need to do when we change any of our text is to select that text on our document and we do this by clicking our mouse or cursor either at the start or the end of the bit of text we want to change. So down at the bottom after our telephone number we left click and then if we hold the left click button down we can select our text. Release the left click and if we move up to the font click on the font menu and then different fonts are shown and as we run our cursor down over the fonts it gives us a preview of what that font will look like. I'm going to select Arial and if I click away from the text Arial is selected. Now we need to add some titles and headings to make this flyer stand out. So up to our title sentence missing cat mouse or cursor clicked at the end and just hold our left cursor button down to select the text and we're going to move up to the different headings and again just by moving across we get a preview of what that heading is going to be. I'm going to select title so I'm going to left click on title move my cursor away but I want to move that to the middle of the page so I'm going to click on the paragraph center and I'm going to center our title. Now I'm going to select the sentence below that McGanga the cat missing since Monday the 20th of February. So select all the text again move our cursor with the left mouse button held down to select the text and let's move that over our styles we'll give that heading 1. Click on heading 1 and again we want to center it and again with can you help underneath select our text and we'll give that heading 2 and center it. Now if we click back on our document after can you help and if we press the enter button to give another line I'm going to insert a photograph. So up to the insert tab and then click on picture a dialog box appears and I have some cat pictures in my library select the picture you want and click on insert that picture is now inserted onto our document and you'll notice that with our picture tools menu comes up as we're working with a picture all I'm going to do with this I'm going to make sure it stays in line with the text so over to position and I'm going to position the photograph in line with text so I'll click on that we move to the bottom of the document and we'll select the text that we've got underneath the picture and that is black and white medium sized female cat has been missing since Monday the 19th of February please can you check any garden sheds and garages for any sign of our missing cat called Maganga now I'm just going to make that text a little bigger and center it so I'm going to make the text up to 14 and I'm going to center that in the middle of our page. Reward if found. Let's make that into a heading and give that a heading 2. So again, moving up to our styles, heading 2, center it. 
contact Mr. and Mrs. Tutorial. Again, let's give that a heading 2 and center it. And lastly, the phone number, and we'll give that a heading 1 and center that. So we've put in our titles and our headings and our picture. I'm just going to space it out a little bit more and give slightly bigger font sizes. So I want to space underneath Can You Help? And I'm just going to make these headings slightly bigger. Make that an 18. Can you help? I'm going to make that an 18 as well so it stands out. We've got to keep scrolling down the page because we've used the whole page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the view and I'm going to view just the one page and that will show us our whole flyer and that looks pretty good to me. So let's just check on the spelling by going to the review tab. Do a spelling check. And the word missing needs to be changed. So let's just change that. And Maganga. Well, I'm going to ignore all that because it hasn't got a spelling for Maganga. And that's our spelling check completed. And let's take it to print. So on the file tab, on to print, and in Word 2010 we have a preview of our print opposite. Quite happy to do that, so we can go and print that, and then we can save it. Save it to our documents by default. It's taken the title of missing cat. We'll just put add missing cat flyer. Click on save and that's our flyer created. Thanks very much.